Constantine Cantacuzino, widely known as Bazu, was born on November 11, 1905, and passed away on May 26, 1958. He was the son of Mihail Cantacuzino, a prominent member of the Romanian Conservative Party, serving as a deputy, mayor of the capital, and minister of justice between 1910, 1913, and again, between 1916 and 1918. His mother, Maria Toscanu Rossetti, gained renown for organizing extravagant parties and later became the wife of the famous Romanian composer and world-class violinist George Enescu after the death of her first husband. Constantine Cantacuzino attended high school in Bucharest and had a passion for motorsports, which he could afford to indulge in regularly. He excelled as a motorbike racer, winning several races, and was also a skilled driver. He set a new record in the Paris-Bucharest race. He played tennis and served as the captain of the Romanian ice hockey team at the World Championships in 1931 and 1933. In the same year, he attended flight school, flying extensively across Europe until the outbreak of the war, often facing challenging conditions. He served as the pilot for Prince Bibescu, the president of the International Aviation Federation. By the start of the war, Cantacuzino had accumulated over 2,000 flight hours across Europe. In 1939, he won the National Aerial Acrobatics Contest with his Booker Bu-133 Jungmeister. His military career commenced in 1941 when, despite being appointed as the chief pilot of the Romanian National Air Transport Company, he opted to join the front as a pilot of the Hurricane Meke-1 in the battles for the liberation of Bessarabia and the front in Odessa. From July 5th, when he began flying war missions, until October 31, 1941, when he was demobilized, he claimed six victories. On April 26, 1943, he was remobilized and assigned to the 7th Fighter Group, equipped with the new Messerschmitt BF-109. By May 5th, he arrived on the front line and assumed command of the 58th Fighter Squadron. On June 29th, he and his wingman engaged four Yakolevs, two LA-5s, and four Spitfires while attempting to protect three Romanian Ju-88 bombers. Despite his wingman being severely hit and forced to return to base, Cantacuzino continued the fight alone and shot down two Spitfires. Although his aircraft sustained damage, he managed to escape and make a belly landing resulting in the destruction of two bombers. In July, he flew both day and night missions, even though his aircraft was not equipped for low visibility flying. Cantacuzino attempted to halt the Soviet night bombings of his airfield. The Germans protested and considered him a little mad, leading him to eventually give up on the night missions. On July 27, 1943, he successfully downed the Soviet Air Force's ace Nikolai F. Kimushin, who had 12 kills to his name. Between August Su and 5, he achieved the impressive feat of shooting down nine aircraft, comprising four Yaks and five Ilyushin ground attack aircraft, elevating his total score to 27. On August 5th, he found himself alone on patrol and encountered a formidable Soviet formation of about 40-50 planes, including Ilyushin and Yaks. Acknowledging that he couldn't eliminate them all, he decided to inflict some damage on the formation. He dived into the Ilyushin formation, successfully shooting down two of them before being engaged by Soviet fighters. Remarkably, he managed to shake them off and shot down another. The day of August 16th proved exceptional for the pilots of the 7th Fighter Group, achieving 22 confirmed kills and five probables. Cantacuzino contributed significantly, downing three aircraft. On August 28th, he was awarded the Iron Cross, first class. Additionally, he received decorations, including the Aeronautical Virtue War Order with Swords, Golden Cross Class with Two Bars, awarded on November 28, 1941, and the Aeronautical Virtue War Order with Swords, Knight Class, 
conferred on February 16, 1944. In the autumn of 1943, Bazu fell ill and was admitted to a hospital. Subsequently, he had to take an extended leave from the front to recuperate. On February 10, 1944, he resumed active duty with the 7th Fighter Group, which was deployed to the front alongside the Soviets in Moldavia. On April 15, during an American raid, Canta Cusino and his wingmen attacked bomber formations, successfully downing six Liberators. By May 31, the 7th Fighter Group was withdrawn from the front line and reassigned to home defense. He shot down another one on July 15 and started August by claiming two P-38s. Following the death of Alexandru Sherbanescu, he was appointed as the commander of the 9th Fighter Group. After August 23, 1944, when Romania withdrew from the Axis and joined the Allies, the Germans initiated bombing raids on Bucharest from airfields still under their control. The 7th and 9th fighter groups were mobilized to protect the city, with Bazu shooting down three He-111s on this occasion. After the war concluded, Cantacuzino was demobilized and returned to Leires. According to the counting system prevalent during much of the conflict, his total kills amounted to 69, the highest in the Romanian Air Force. He likely stands as one of the few, if not the sole pilot, to have shot down aircraft from the Soviet Union, the United States, and Germany. Post-war, significant changes unfolded. The USSR established a communist regime, seizing private properties and imprisoning the old elite and dissenters. Bazu lost all his land, leading to the departure of his wife. He entered into his fourth marriage, marrying Nadia Gray, and in 1947 they fled to Italy before eventually settling in Spain. In Spain, the Romanian community extended assistance to him, enabling him to purchase an airplane and make a living through air shows. Despite his war hero status, Kantaku Zeno sustained himself by working as a pilot for agricultural purposes. Tragically, he passed away in 1958 in Spain due to complications arising from a routine ulcer operation, with his death occurring on May 26 in Madrid. The life story of Constantine Cantacuzino is marked by passion and turmoil. He traversed epochs and wars, leaving the imprint of a non-conformist spirit. Guided by his courage, each page of his life is a lesson in resilience worthy of a Hollywood movie.